don't forget to smash the like and subscribe. Hopefully you learned something. Let's go. All right, here we go. What we got here? Got a pretty much a complete, except from the roof. Roof's carbon fiber. It's an M5 and it's a matte finish. So it'll be fun. I'll walk you through what I usually do with a matte finish. It's actually very simple. It's, you know, try not to overthink it. Just do it, get it done and uh, get it done right. So you can only do it once. And uh, there's no polish in this, of course. But anyways, we'll get, we'll get right into it. Uh, I hope you learned something. And right now I'm just gonna clean it. I'm gonna clean the crap out of it, okay? Okay, water cleaner. We recording? Yep, perfect. So, what you want to do with every job, as I as I usually tell you, if you watch this video, if you watch my videos for many time now, is uh, wipe everything really well. Okay, and if you're doing a complete, you wipe the paper as well or the plastic, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, very, very important. You wanna make sure that you wanna make sure that you're cleaning everything really well. I mean the car should be clean once it gets in the booth, okay? That's very important. Um, I cannot stress that enough. You don't wanna start doing the cleaning in the booth. You want to do kind of like a, a final cleaning in the booth, okay? And the reason why I clean it with both solvent and water is because there's different things, right? There's different uh, substrates. Let me make sure we're recording, gosh. There's uh, different things, right? Right now it's summer, it's hot. So the water cleaner cleans uh, sweat very well, right? Water cleaner cleans sweat very well from what I have noticed, right? That the greaser doesn't really touch it, okay? So that's why we do, I like to do the water cleaner and. If you notice some sweat marks, the water cleaner will take it out. So making sure, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure. When I clean the cars, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but when I clean the cars, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure because I want to make sure that it's clean. I don't wanna just you know, just glide over it. I wanna make sure that it's very, very, very clean. This is a this is a brand new microfiber cloth. Uh, but I'll usually use one microfiber cloth for a whole week here in a production shop. Um, they work well, see, there's an old one, there's a new one. And they work amazing, I, I love using them. And I get mine from Costco. They're the cheapest. And uh, they work. They're not contaminated. A lot of people get theirs from eBay. I do not trust anything from eBay or Amazon for that matter. Because I've seen a lot of people get, get some from those places and uh, it turns out they're like contaminated. So they go and then they they're not sure why they're getting a bunch of fish eyes in their jobs and turns out it's the microfiber cloth so that's why I don't use any other than the ones that I know work so so like I said quite a bit of pressure this car is very clean right obviously with a matte finish you cannot polish it so you know you should be doing this you should be doing this for every job, being extra careful and clean so that, you know, you have less dirt. However, 
when it comes to a matte finished car, you try to go a little bit extra step so that you don't have any issues. Um, since we're painting everything, pretty much like if you were to get like a big nib or something that it's too noticeable, then we can just do the panel itself. We don't have to redo everything. Um, with the, the clear coat that I use here, I use the PPG Global Refinishing Clear Coat, the ceramic one. And that stuff's been, honestly, it's been bulletproof for me. I, I love it, it's, it's worked. It's worked so well, so. But, I mean, with every job really, not only with matte finish jobs, but with every job, this step right here, you cannot rush it. You cannot, you know, and this is what I tell myself all the time. It's like, yo, Gabriel, like, slow down. You know what I mean? It's like, a little extra five minutes, a little extra 10 minutes will save you, you know, half an hour in the future when you go to polish the car and stuff like that. So just a little, little advice here while I'm talking through you through this vehicle and it's probably a lot of you want me to shut up already, but hey, if it helps one person, then it was worth it. Oh, the one thing I didn't do because uh, Miguel the prepper, he, he blew it really, really, really well, but I'm gonna blow it again after I'm done. Uh, washing it. I'm gonna blow it extremely well. So now I use a degreaser, uh, pre cleano 900. Lots of different uh, companies make degreasers. This is the this is the finish wash uh, finish master one. It's okay. Not the best. Not the worst. But unfortunately the. Spoiler is on, yes. I know somebody is going to comment that. But uh, we couldn't get, uh, they couldn't take it out. I don't know what the excuse was, but here I am painting it, okay? This car was basically scratched everywhere. Uh, this car was scratched, you know, all over the place it was scratched. And uh, obviously you can't polish, at least I don't know of any way to polish. If anybody knows a product or something that I could try out to polish matte finishes, that would be awesome. But as far as I know, I think Formula One has something, but it's not available for anyone else but Formula One. But anyways. Uh, yeah, so I mentioned I'm, I'm using PPG and Base. I've done this car before, this color before. Uh, not the same car, but the same color before. And I have a, I had a sparrow car for it. And the 475 with the matte clear coat on it. FCO2 uh, looked the best. For Mercedes and most most cars that I've ever done has been uh, FCO2. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, most cars have been FCO2, which for PPG, for those of you who don't use PPG, they have the shades. I don't know what the technical name is, because, you know, I just say things like nice, nice, nice. <laughs> um, but yeah. FCO2, that's the shine level. But yeah, I actually enjoy doing these. Just when you have a good process and a good system that you could use and that is it's proven to be uh, useful and effective and most importantly consistent is something that you know, kind of makes us, our lives as painters, a little bit 
less hard when it comes to painting. So that's why I, I don't mind doing these cars. I really actually enjoy them. I think they're fun. Still work, still work, but at least I enjoy it, right? So like I said, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure while I'm washing this. And uh, yeah, taking, you know, taking the time to wash these cars properly, uh, it's very important, right? Like, you know, I, I don't know how long I've been washing this car now, but you know, it's just, it's just what it takes. And as you're washing, here's a tip for everyone. As you're washing the car, you want to look behind, right? You want to look behind while it's still wet um to see if there's any sand scratches anything like that um and this is very absorbent if this wasn't absorbent then i would be going behind it to dry okay but these that's why i love using microfiber cloth they're just very efficient in everything they do and they pick up a lot so but like i was saying you want to go you want to look behind it and make sure that um, you're not missing any stone chips or anything like that because while it's wet you'll see everything okay um, here we go so I got the with the same with the same rag okay I'm going to start oh I'm gonna blow it first with uh, this this is an eco gun anti-static gun uh, I may have these in the website soon, but I'm not sure. They're, uh, they're around 600 and something dollars, but uh, you don't need, you don't need a uh, battery for it. Anyways. So, I'm gonna work my way from the back and push everything to the front, okay? And I'm going to just blow everything. Here. And now I'm not folding the rag. I have it just, you know, with my hand behind it because I want to be able to feel if there's any stubborn little pieces of something that needs to come out. So I'm doing this, but I'm also going to be blowing it after just with this, without touching it. Right now I'm using it as a blower. trying to be a little strategic of how I'm blowing this, right? So I'm kind of blowing it that way, throwing everything that way. I mean, if you didn't know, this is gonna be a long video, clearly. But, You never know when I do something, when I say something that might add value to your life, to your career. So I strongly suggest you stick around and uh, hopefully you learn something. I mean, the advice is worth what you pay for, right? <laughs> uh, let's hope, anyways. So I'm using my fingers to get in here, right? To get in here, grab stuff, right? And pulling it, blowing it that way. 
right? You see my fingers there to go in here, right? Just like that. And that way, you know, I can try my best to get as much of this stuff that I can that might be stuck in there or anything like that. Just little things that I think it's worth mentioning. Some things I just do a second nature and, and I don't realize, but it might be helpful for someone. So hopefully that helps. Just gonna do this, wrap it around my arm so it's not touching. After I put my legs on the fender. <laughs> I, you could always find something wrong that I'm doing and I think that you can learn from it. So be smart, be smart and learn from whatever you see I do wrong. Learn from it, baby, learn from it. Don't waste the opportunity to learn. Yeah, baby. Let's go, okay. Now I go just like this. Just like if I was spraying it. A little more overlap. <laughs> hey, if you're still here, you're a champ. Much love to you. Not everyone can stick around while somebody's babbling along. But I hope that if you're still here, you uh, might learn something. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a uh, base on all the primer spots. It's a bit cold in here. I'm gonna just turn up the heat a little bit. Good. It's at 86, which it's not bad, it's good. That's that's what you want to spray at 80. But uh, just to get these primer spots going, I'm doing it at 90 fast. And then I'll pull it down to uh, 75. Okay, I realize this is not the greatest spot to end the video, but I'm gonna be working on the editing of the rest of the video. But I wanted to get this out to you so that you can get a little bit of a sense of uh, you know what I do when I go and clean a car, especially a car that needs to be extremely, extremely, extremely clean. All right, keep an eye out on part two of or finishing matte uh, paint job, okay? Love you, thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, God bless. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for this, this uh, second part. Much love, peace. God bless. Gabriel Marino over and out. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe. Hopefully you learned something. Let's go. All right, here we go.